Hello Taurus, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 29th of November, no, yeah, 29th of November, running into December. So, angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 29th, 29th of November, the week of the 29th of November for Taurus, the week starting the 29th of November for Taurus, please, angels. Spirit Guide Universe, what would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 29th of November? The week of the 29th of November for Taurus, please. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus, Angel Spirit Guide Universe, what would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 29th? Have a couple of cards in here. Okay, Taurus. Right, we have the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, two messengers. Knight of Swords. He's a Gemini. He wants to come in and start a row. He says he's got your back. Um, he wants to defend with you, uh, talk to you. Uh, this could be the same people. This could be a Gemini who's taking too long to come forward and is representing like the Knight of Pentacles. But yeah, young energies, messages, one wants stability, uh, the other one wants to talk. It could be someone wants to talk about stability. It could be a brother and a uh, boyfriend. It might be a same-sex uh relationship um but so this person's got your back they want to talk to you this gemini um air chit chat chit chat uh, but it usually is a, an argument and maybe you don't want to argue you're just there saying no i just want to plant seeds of the future i don't want this disrupt disruption but there is this brand new beginning here offered this ace of pentacles something secure a gift um out, do, no, it's usually my mum used to say it's a ring, so it could be an engagement, something like that. But someone, this has happened again every now and again, very rarely. And I don't know if, if any tarot readers watching, a card will go missing like out of its area. So I'm gonna have to put this one here, that one there, pull this down. Yeah. And it, it kind of nearly happened with Aries as well. So we've got someone here, this Queen of Cups, she's not representing, she's not um, emotionally stable, even though there's this offer. Um, just watery, non-emotional. Um, there seems to have been some kind of sneakiness, Seven of Swords, some kind of lie. Um, maybe you've made an offer to this Queen, or you're the Queen, or you're getting this offer. But it comes with a lie. There seems to be two, three, or well, three people here. Um, maybe you're getting an offer from the person you don't want the offer from. Or, see this queen, she doesn't nurture. She doesn't want to nurture. She's not honouring her heart. Um, there is a new secure beginning, but it's lacking in love, it seems to be something to do with money. Ten of Pentacles, maybe an inheritance here is coming through. Um, this offer, this ace goes to the ten. So it definitely is a stable offer, but someone is maybe lying, maybe pretending to be emotional when they're not, pretending to be loving just for the money. <laughs> There's something here because, the, so this money comes, someone wants to start again like jump off have a, a, a fun freedom the fool you know children and there's the three of swords there's an ending maybe a stabbing in the heart the threesome situation someone's lying in this equation um could be this queen it brings about because someone wants something new maybe they get this money this or new offer so they don't tell you about this new offer and they're off. Um, it's very monetary. 
someone is left in tears and in limbo might be you Taurus but at the end of this week there is a victory a car someone journeying towards you you toward them pulling in your yin your yang it seems to like you've got the devil and the sun up here it's like god and the devil on the angel and the devil on either either shoulder there's like this either or or should i shouldn't i what, what where do i go do you know what i mean but the sun shines over this the, the the light wins out god the ascension the spirituality wins over this manipulate ma manipulation or toxic behavior it's odd It's like you need to really go with spirituality and it will come in. There's, there's a journey up here. Someone could be journeying towards you to, to have sexy time, but the sun shines on it. So it might not be all that bad. Um, there's just like, seems to be one or the other, yin or the yang, either or. But there needs to be some kind of dropping of this lie, um, a new stable beginning. You're off, maybe ending with somebody so that you can go off and be with somebody else. The sun shines on you at the end of this week. It, uh, even if there's toxic behaviour in it, I don't know why. The devil and the sunshine, it's like uh, devil angel, devil angel. You can't go between the two. <laughs> you, it's like you want both. You're left in limbo. There's not, it seems to have ended, but there's no transformation. So it might mean that you need to take yourself away just to, to maybe see the toxicity and have the sun shine over it and illuminate the manipulation of it all. I don't know if I'm making any sense. There seems to be two or three people in this equation. A new beginning is offered, but it's not. It's not a heartfelt beginning. It's almost for the money, for the stability. Someone's lying in the equation. The, um, you might gain this stability and then you're like, no, I need, I need to go, I need a new beginning. I've got to end something so that I can go off to be with the person I'm, I'm sexually attracted to and spiritually attracted to. Even if it's toxic, maybe there's the lesson in there. It's like you might see it for what it is as soon as you get, get as soon as this thing's over, or otherwise you'll be stuck in limbo. If you don't go somewhere, it's like if I don't try this out, I'll never know. I need to see it. Angel spirit guide, but it looks like you're going to get the money to do it. Angel spirit guides, universe. What would you like, Taurus, to know? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. For the week of the 29th, I'm not going to take those because there's too many. Angel, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Taurus to know for the week of the 29th? Angel, children, your love life is being affected by children. Angel, spirit guides, could be this fool here. Spirit guides, universe, what would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 29th November, Taurus? Deception. Yep, someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Now that could mean you're being childish. Someone's being very, very childish, like this fool here. They just want to jump in and end something quickly, go off, do something devilish. <laughs> but the sun's here. Travel, joy, children, you know. I keep seeing these reins on the chariot and the reins on the puppets for this devil, he's manipulative. Um, could be a Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, uh, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo. Could be a strong Leo and Capricorn up there with that sun and the devil. The sun shines over the devil. The, the spirituality will trump the devil. Angel, spirit, God, universe, what would you like to know? Let go of control issues. So there's that reins. I was hit the reins. You've got to let go of the reins. 
let go of the reins, allow God to enter into this situation. It could be the children, maybe you need to, then they're going off to college or something, I don't know what time of year it is for people, but um, angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Taurus to know? What would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 29th of? What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So someone wants to talk to you. This Knight of Pentacles could be very slow, but there's, he wants to offer a ring or a future. This Queen of Pentacles upside down, you're not honoring your heart much. It could be there could be drink um, here and, and deception within this, this secure family. There could be a, ch a child or there's some kind of foolish behaviour or jumping into the unknown uh, because someone wants to end this third party. But someone doesn't want to end something. They're still in limbo. They're just staying in something. So somebody will either move out or run, not run off, or if there's a victory here, you bring, pull in your yin and your yang, but you must let go of these reins, this control, so that God can shine in. There's travel at the end of this week, Taurus. It could be towards, there could be something manipulative involved in it, where you're going, but ultimately, brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So visualize your desires. Negativity will block your progress. So devil, angel, devil, angel. <laughs> You need to honour your heart. I know that. The this Queen of Cups needs to turn back up right. Someone is not representing. There's a deception here. And a definite new beginning. With an ending. Blow me, Taurus. I hope I've helped you. Um... Please like, share and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.